Hey everyone, I'm Sophia and we're gonna go over two of the most important things you need to know before owning a dog. So let's talk about walking um, and exercise. We know that walking and exercise is a vital part of being healthy, even for humans, but it is known that you're at least supposed to walk your dog once a day for 30 minutes. Um, as long as they're getting that walk in, you can rest assured that they're getting the minimal exercise that they need throughout the day. So depending on your dog type, you may want to brush your dog about 10 minutes a day. Um, for me, I have a golden retriever, so she sheds a lot. Um, the hair you see in this video is quite a bit and it's only been like, like a 30 second brush. Um, so depending on whether your dog is short hair, long hair, um, curly hair, doesn't shed, it really depends, but it, it should be part of the routine and it does take some time. Training is also really important. Um, it, it builds a lot of trust with your dog. It teaches your dog that you are in control and that you are safe. So they, the reward system works the same with children as it does with dogs. Um, when you're training, you always wanna reward um, for good behavior so that the, and the dog knows that that behavior is acceptable. And um, usually walking a dog can be tough if it pulls and um, things of that nature, but um, Bringing treats, training while walking can be a beneficial reward to your dog and your pet and, and bring about a better relationship and a better enjoyable time walking. So whether you work all day, um, your dog still needs to go out at least two to three times a day during the work day and then at twice at night when you get home. Um, that is kind of hard for working people that travel a lot. One of the best ways that I found was using an app called Rover. It is a dog walking app that everybody is background checked and you know that your dog is being well taken care of. Um, usually they come in, they let your dog out, use the bathroom, refill their water so they have fresh water, maybe play with them for a couple minutes. Um, so that your dog is intermittently cared for until you get home from work. Um, they can be kind of pricey, so I think that that is one of the biggest downfalls, um, unless you work really close to home and you can come home for lunch. Um, other than that, yeah, the potty breaks still continue when you get home, um, at least five, five minutes per each time. We all know that bonding with your dog is a very important part. Um, usually when people think of bonding, they think of petting, kissing, just playing with your dog, but bonding can be done in a few different ways that can bring you and your dog closer. You can do it through walks, you can do it through treats, you can do it through playing with different toys with your dog, or even going somewhere and just enjoying a new scenery with your dog is also another way to bond with them. Another thing that is super important is socializing your dog. Um, usually this is done when they're younger, uh, so they learn the right rules and the right way to play. Um, they also use to use their doggy language so that they can communicate with other dogs. Um, that is so important, especially when going to a dog park. Your dog needs to know that he needs to get along with the other animals. So talking about cost, about an animal, um, puppies obviously are a little more expensive because you have a lot of the initial fees, such as vaccinations. Um, the first year is usually spay or neuter. Um, you also have a lot of different types of food that's softer and tends to be a little more expensive. Also crating, um, you need a little bit more um, materials, puppy pad, potty pads for them to potty around the house so 
be prepared for the first year to spend a little bit extra on your dog. Um, the following information is uh, a study done by about a thousand people um, through the AKC, the American Kennel Club. Um, they're a pretty trusted site and nationally known. Um, and their numbers surveyed about a thousand people that um, what they averagely spent a year um, on their animal. The spay and neuter, um, that, that can be quite expensive, but having um, a plan or some, some type of insurance can really help. Um, a lot of the vet places have some, <clears throat> some plans that you can sign up for that will save in cost. Um, and then also going through dog food as they get older. Um, the dog food can be a bit pricey. It's a, a, as I show in this video, um, it's about $60 per bag of good food for your animal. Um, and that is a pretty big bag um, that would probably last at least two months, um, depending on how large the animal is and how much they eat. Um, secondly, treats, um, toys, and things of that nature are going to be pricey too. So um, I always try to put away some toys so they so they kind of forget about them. And then when I bring them back out again, they're like new. And then I kind of switch and rotate that so that so that the um, and the newness and the novelty doesn't wear off, and they have a big huge pile of toys that they don't want to play with. Um, other than dogs being extremely cuddly, cute, affectionate, um, it's far worth it, I think, if you're willing to invest the time. Um, most dogs live about 12 years. It is a long commitment, but um, it's well worth it. And I love my dog. She's my companion. She's always here to snuggle me and kind of emotionally be there. Um, so I enjoy her getting me out of the house. It helps me um, to keep moving. Going for walks and being out in nature really helps me. So she inspires me to get out more and to walk more, which I kind of need in my life right now. Um, other than that, uh, those are the top concerns that I would say that you should look out for before owning a dog. Um, and I know they look cute and cuddly, but the expenses do add up. Thank you.